Hello everyone, Cliff Whitney here from AtlantaHobby.com and UAVExperts.com. Hey, as I'm recording this, Atlanta has just had about eight inches of snow outside. Kind of a rare event, and I haven't seen this much snow in probably 20 or 30 years. But with all the cold weather around, it brings up building. It's a great time to be building. Winter is great. You're cooped up in the house. Maybe you want to build something like this custom built Jerry Smith scratch. Jerry gave this to me a few years ago and I'm very, very proud to have it. All custom built, scratch built for that matter. But in order to build anything like this, you have to have glue. And so I thought I'd give you a quick overview of some of the mercury adhesives that are out there. Now I love mercury, they're dear to my heart for many, many reasons. But one, that they're made in the United States. As a matter of fact, mercury is the only CA that's built in the United States, actually manufactured here at any quantity whatsoever. A couple manufacturers might say they build in the USA, but they make very small batches. This stuff is actually made here from a great manufacturer. A lot of different flavors to choose from, but a lot of people might not know about CA. So let me talk you through them just a little bit. First, they're color coded and Mercury has thought uh, well far ahead to put the name of the adhesive and the viscosity right in the glue. So the glue, the blue I should say, is called M5T. Now the five is the viscosity. That's very, very thin, kind of like water. Uh, if you move on up the line, there's a 300, M300M that's orange. That's a medium viscosity. And M1100G, which is their thick CA. Now they all come in three different sizes. There's a little 10 gram bottle, there's a one ounce bottle, there's a two ounce bottle. There's even eight ounce bottles for guys that maybe crash a little bit like I do, or build a tremendous amount. Another really unique feature of the, all the mercury adhesives is the cap. The cap actually screws on and off instead of pushing on and off. Now what that does by screwing on and off is several things. It provides a triple seal. CA sets up in the presence of moisture, so you want to keep the moisture content down in the bottle. So this cap does that. Another thing it does is there's an actual pin in the top of the cap, and I'll show you a little illustration of this as I'm talking here. That pin doesn't actually touch the channel, the, the channel where the glue comes out of, because that would be bad. It would scratch it, and that's what causes CA to set up. Rather than that, when the pin goes in the top of the nozzle, there's a 200 thousandths clearance. So it keeps the nozzle clear, but yet it doesn't touch the size and scratch the inside. The other thing that it does, it's very difficult to see, but the top of this bottle is curved. It curves inside and there's a Teflon ball inside of here. So again, when the cap goes on, it screws down, intersects to the top of the nozzle and again seals it to keep the moisture out, which is why mercury glue stays so fresh. As a matter of fact, I'll mention they have an unconditional warranty. If you ever have any of this stuff go bad, you send it back to Mercury, they will replace the bottle for you absolutely free. Kind of cool. Hey, going on down the line, they have uh, two foam friendly adhesives. There's a yellow label, which is the thin or medium. It's a 100 viscosity. So remember we had five, 300 for medium, 1100 for thick in the normal ethyl base Greek CAs. The Foam friendly CAs are butyl based. Now that means a couple things. There's a 100 viscosity and there's a 1000 viscosity for the thick foam CAs. Uh, these also come in uh, solid bottles. They're white instead of transparent. This further keeps the light out of these butyl based CAs. It makes the foam friendly CAs last longer. Foam friendly CAs don't last as long as regular CAs. They're more susceptible to a lot of things. It's more expensive to manufacture. So uh, mercury makes good. Now what the butyl does though is it's not so brittle. It also doesn't turn yellow when you put it on, whether you're gluing it. And uh, again, very, very foam friendly and 100 and 1000, really, really good stuff. One of my favorites is the M100XF. Now XF is an extra special formula. This is a, uh, again, a little more of adhesive, a little more expensive adhesive. It's about $10 for the one ounce bottle or so, but fantastic glue. This has a special formula in it to where you can actually glue plywood with it. Light ply works fantastic. The chemical base in here cuts out or 
it works best with how high alkaline content uh, substrates, which would be a, a model grade uh, uh, um, plywood is what I'm trying to think up and get out here. This stuff is so good. You can butt joint plywood together, hold it for about eight or 10 seconds. And when you separate it apart, it'll actually pull the, the wood apart before it fails. Fantastic. This is also good for carbon fiber. Um, as you guys like I am into DLG, it's really good for boom repairs and things. Fantastic CA M100 XF. So this is thinner than medium. Remember 100, 300, 1000. This is a 100. So it kind of splits the baby in the middle. There's a couple specialty glues that Mercury have. These are called flexes. There's an M200 FT and an M300 FM. So the, two, the uh, 20 is a 20 viscosity and it's thin. The 300 is a medium viscosity, so a little bit thicker, but still not thick. Uh, these come in two ounce bottles, again, with the, uh, the, the triple sealed cap with a pin in it. What is Flex CA good for? It's fantastic for high temperature areas. Uh, so you've got something that's gonna have a lot of high heat content. It's also, when I say flexible, CA is an acrylic polymer. It's plastic, basically. So there's no such thing as flexible. But if you were to put this on something and then let's say shave it off with a knife, it's not just gonna crack and, funnel, uh, and uh, fumble all up and crumble all up. It's gonna come off in sheets. So this is used in a lot of specialty applications. Uh, again, in a 20 viscosity and in a 300 viscosity. The uh, three little bottles off to the side over here is the Mercury Accelerator and the Mercury Debonder. Yes, you get this stuff on your hands every now and then. The Debonder is really good to get it off or it will separate parts as well. You have to use this um, little at a time. Both of these come with spray nozzles. So you put a little bit on, let it set, and then a little bit more if you need to debond something or if you've made an error, that'll do it. The Accelerator, I'm really, really happy with. This Accelerator is not only works with the regular CAs, it works with the foam friendly CAs. It's different than every other formula that's out there because it's a heptane base and it evaporates very quickly. So you want to keep the top on. Again, it's a very nice top on here. It's got a spray nozzle on it, but it's good for foam friendlies as well as rather uh, regular CAs. And it also won't bloom on you. So you don't need to use as much of it it won't turn yellow when you put it on your nice new foam airplanes or something like that. So mercury uh, adhesive accelerator. And this has a chemical formula, MH16, which is in the name. MH16 is the heptane. Comes in a two ounce spray bottle. Also comes in a big 12 ounce can for you guys that just want to spray. And it comes in an eight ounce refill as well. So really good line. Behind me you see three epoxies. Totally different than the other epoxies that are on the market out there. Again, manufactured in the USA. There's a 30 minute, there's a 15 minute, and there's a five minute. So three different epoxies out here. Now you might ask, why is there a five minute, a 15, and a 30? Well, the way epoxy sets up is through a chemical called mercaptan. And there's a lot of mercaptan in the five minute. This is what causes it to really set up and set off really quick. You'll also hear it called pot life. And the pot life on the five, the 15, and in the 30 is exactly what it says. So even though the pot life or the stir up and start to cure time on the 15 minute might be 15 minutes, you're really gonna get a full cure after a couple of hours or even we like to say 24 hours. But it will set up in 15 minutes. It will set up in 30 minutes. And obviously if you're in the field and you need a quick repair, you would use the five minutes. Now the mercaptan increases the heat and the heat is what causes epoxy to set up. So there's less and less in the line. So the five minutes very fast. The 15 minute is actually my favorite. It still takes longer to set up, but it'll get what you have to do, uh, have to get done, done. And speaking of heat, so one other thing I would mention about the MX-16 is accelerator. The heptane formula does not put out as much heat as some of the other accelerators that you might see there on the market. And last but not least, the last product I'll show you today is the Mercury Thread Locker. This is a fantastic product. It can be used on your quads, on your race 
quads, on your cars, your trucks, your airplanes for nuts and bolts and things like that. And Mercury has done for Threadlocker what they did for CA as far as the bottle top goes. This is a blue. Threadlocker comes in purple, blue, red, and green. Purple is a very light removable thread locker. The blue is still removable, but it's more of a permanent uh, uh, thread locker, but it can be removed. Red is permanent. You put red down, it locks it on there really, really well. And the green that you might see is done for pinion gears and things where there are no threads. It just needs to go on there and it's not gonna come off. So the blue is the most common for what we use in the hobby industry. And again, I was telling you what Mercury has done for the cap is really, really cool because thread locker has been notoriously hard to apply. Mercury has actually put a brush in the cap. Normally you put it on their little droppers and they go down. This is a really cool thought out process is the thread locker. So think about Mercury thread locker. And by the way, thread lockers, or I mentioned were anaerobics. They set up in the absence of air, okay? So when you put it on the threads on your, your, uh, your bolt there and you thread it all through, that's when it starts to set up. So, and this stuff, by the way, will last virtually forever. So that is the Mercury thread locker. Okay, so great lineup for Mercury, good stuff. Uh, three different sizes in the normal ethyl, ba ethyl, ethyl based CAs. Uh, 5, 300, 1100, two foam friendlies. The XF, again, fantastic. If you've never tried M100 XF, give it a try. Ask your local retailer, Mercury Direct, or obviously here at AtlantaHobby.com and UAV Experts. Get out and build. It's, a, it's, a, it's not a dying art, but it's fantastic. It's fun. You're cooped up in the house all winter. Get you a nice kit. There's some beautiful sailplanes out, some nice long wing sailplanes these days. The scratch kit is out there if you want to do something by scratch. Have a lot of fun. Build. Enjoy it. Fly safe. Thanks for watching.